Hey everyone, I want to do a quick little video on how to install additional RAM in the Inspiron 157579. Uh, it's really easy, it takes under 10 minutes to do. Uh, for this you just need a, a Phillips screwdriver. I have this small one that came in a set. You can find these at the hardware store for uh, five bucks. Um, you need to determine how much RAM is in your computer or if you have one or two sticks of RAM. So in if you boot up your machine, press F2 to enter the BIOS and go to general system information, you'll see this machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM or 1600 megabytes. And uh, the DIMM A size is 1600 and the DIMM B size is DIMM slot empty. That means we could just buy one stick of RAM uh, to upgrade this PC. If you have two sticks of RAM, let's say like two 8 gigabytes uh, sticks, you'll either need to replace both or replace one with a larger size. Uh, the RAM you need for this machine is DDR4 2400 megahertz. Um, you can go on Amazon and find an uh, 8 gigabyte stick for around 50 bucks. Uh, the 16 gigabyte stick is around $80. Uh, just make sure when you're looking, look for the 260 pin version. It's the smaller, it's the smaller laptop RAM. Um, if you just search for laptop RAM, it'll it'll come up. At the bottom, you'll just find a bunch of screws all around the outside, and we just need to remove all of those. You can put the screws and like uh, make sure you put them on a table or in a cup or or something so you don't lose them. So now we have all the screws removed. If you just pull on the back just ever so slightly, the whole thing will will lift up. And it, it, if it's being held up by anything, it comes off really easy. So just make sure you get all the screws out. Uh, for this machine, the RAM is under these black flaps here. So we can just zoom in a little bit there. So you can see the DIM1 has a, it's filled up right now, but the DIM2 slot is empty. So we're just gonna take our RAM and you can see from the side here that there's, there's a pin that it's offset just a little bit. Um, just make sure it's lined up correctly. You can just kind of put it in there and see that it's, it's gonna click in correctly. It goes in at like a 45 degree angle and you just press it in kind of gen gently it doesn't need to really click and then you just press down until the two metal pieces on either side here click in and then you can just put the flap back down and now we're ready to put all the screws back in. Uh, the shell itself is, it goes on, you'll hear a, a little click and just kind of press gently all around it and then screw everything back in. So now we're, we're finished, that took uh, less than, I think, six minutes to do everything. And if we go to the BIOS information now, um, it'll say I have installed in DIMM B size, it's now eight gigabytes of RAM. The memory channel mode has switched from single to dual, and I have a total of 24 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, that's, that's everything. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video, and thanks for watching.